During cold spells in Quebec, our electricity consumption skyrockets. And this makes sense. When it's cold out, many of us are at home cranking up the heat. The numbers are huge. During the summer, during peak periods, when everyone's AC is on, Hydro-Quebec has to produce about 28,000 megawatts of electricity. That's compared to the winter peak periods where it has to produce more than 40,000. Experts say as our population grows and more industries turn to electricity as a power source, we are consuming more and more during these peak periods. So how is this affecting our grid? Well, Hydro-Quebec didn't provide us with a figure for how much energy consumption the network can handle before it crashes. And it's a tough figure to calculate. It can change a lot depending on different factors. But we know that Hydro-Quebec has in the past wildly underestimated how much pressure the network would be under during peak times. According to documents obtained by Radio-Canada, during a cold spell in February 2023, Quebecers consumed more than 43,000 megawatts. That's over 2,000 megawatts more than what Hydro-Quebec was predicting. It's more than the maximum production of the Rome Hydro complex at any given time. It also means that during that period, several Hydro-Quebec substations were producing more electricity than they were expected to, including three that produced more than 40% more than expected. Now, Hydro-Quebec says this doesn't mean that the network is at risk of collapse. There are still several places that it can turn to during peak periods. It can turn to reserves, it can turn to natural gas plants, and even buy electricity from other regions. Experts say that in many of those regions we buy power from, energy peaks happen in the summer, but this could change. With decarbonization, with electrification, Ontario will be peaking during winter and United States also will be peaking during winter. So I don't think they will have any electricity left to send to, to uh, sell to us. Hydro-Quebec says it has been working to improve its production. It's upgraded hydro dams, built more wind farms and is working to replace old equipment like the Montreal substation at Barry Ucam. Experts say there's also a broader responsibility on the public. The Trotte Energy Institute, for example, says that we need stronger regulations governing how much energy large buildings can consume. Hydro-Quebec says consumers can also help out when temperatures plummet. Where you can have the most impact is by lowering the temperature in your house, maybe by one, two degrees. Also, if you can postpone the usage of hot water or more uh, consuming appliances like uh, the, the washer, the dryer, the dishwasher. He says while these actions might seem small, they can make a big difference if a lot of people get on board.